All right, fellas, I am actually in an herb shop. So there are tons, I mean literally tons of different herbs. And all the herbs are considered different types of foods like astragalus root. It's considered an adaptogen. Um, like I've mentioned, the one that you really want to stay away from, even though it's a good one for you, is American ginseng. Other than that, bee pollen would be great. Um, cinnamon is always good. You could add that to like your orange juice and stuff. Um, what us see, what else? The goal is to be able to make yourself a tea. You know, um, I'm in here now getting ready to put together a formula for myself since I am working to get my dunk on. This is another one that's important that include in your life. More dulse. Um, dulse is good. It helps when, you, when you're sweating. It helps to replace your sweat. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Irish moss is another good one for um, digestion. So, so, like I'm saying, there are tons. The ones you want to stay away from are all of these ginsengs right now. Because once you guys get older, then you can do that. Um, the big ones are, you want to do roots. I mean, you want to do green herbs. All the different green herbs, um, which I will show you in a second. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Here comes my formula. I'm going to put together a drink for me. So it has dulse in it. I'm going to use astragalus root. I'm going to do some shaved grass, which is green, has good minerals. I'm going to deal with some hawthorn, which is good for circulation. And some more alfalfa leaf, which is good for, um, again, minerals. Oat, oat straw. Okay, it's good. Greens, greens, guys. we got to get the green in our body. And then, like I said, I'm going to do some ginseng because I'm old enough to do it. Okay. And I'm um, going to put this all together. And I'm going to make it into a tea. And then from there, I'm going to drink, you know, 16 ounces a day, 16 to 32 ounces a day. And um, I'll let you know how it turns out. So here's a resource. You know, you can look at herb books. This herb book is called The Herb Book. Um, by John Luss and you got herbs that heal okay and then you got medical herbalism so you got all kind of materials out there that can support you on your journey this is good for stomach aches it is like the bark from a rubber tree and so it gets like that stuff inside of there and so it's good for the joints and the mm -hmm. tissues because of this it has all that connective wow. tissue for it yeah that's beautiful that's pretty cool it comes right off the tree yep very sweet so. that's what happens when you tear your muscle Ha, <laughs> ha,